On CrowdStrike, we believe threat intelligence is a key component into actually preventing future attacks. You have to understand the who in these attacks. It's not just about preventing attacks. Attacks can be prevented, we do a great job of that. But understanding who the adversary is is very important. And by baking in our threat intelligence as well as our automated malware analysis, it gives the customer a much more complete picture of what's actually happening, what's been prevented, and more importantly, who is behind this and why are they trying to get access to your organization. One of the biggest pain points that we've seen customers experience is the ability to really understand what's happening in their environment, particularly from a malware perspective. So they're seeing malware, we're stopping it with Falcon, but they really don't understand what that malware would have done. It takes a lot of the knowledge that CrowdStrike has and automates the process of really understanding what that malware is, what it would have done, deconstructing that, and more importantly, providing a more predictive uh, experience so that they can prevent against future breaches from related malware attacks. The automation of this malware process has never really been possible before because organizations just haven't had the endpoint capabilities to first identify and prevent it using machine learning, artificial intelligence, and having the fully integrated sandbox technologies that can deconstruct what's actually happening and also consult a very large malware repository to look for related samples. So what we've been able to do is automate that entire process without the user intervening. Identifying and preventing the malware, sending the malware up to the cloud, having it be deconstructed into its elements, looking for like samples, having that be deconstructed, and then providing all of the automated indicators of compromise back via API, and that can be fed back uh, into other technologies, be it a firewall, a network gateway, or a SIM, to better protect the organization in other areas besides just their endpoints. I think we're doing threat intelligence better than anyone else because we really take an adversary-centric approach. We break down the various geographies around the world into regions. We look at the actors, threat actors in those regions, and we even look at their campaigns and then we can associate a lot of the activity that we see on the endpoint or malware that's created back to one of those known actors. And I think what's important for organizations to realize is that from a priority perspective of what they care about most and what they triage, they need to focus on the, the highest priority events. Is it a nation state? Is it Russia or China that's attacking you? Or is it a generic piece of malware that happened to get into your organization? And being able to prioritize this and marshal the limited resources that a company has is incredibly important for them. Any size company can benefit whether it's the largest organization that has its own dedicated 24 by 7 SOC. We can help automate the triage process uh, from eight hours in general and what it takes to understand what a piece of malware is trying to do and all the related research that goes along with it to probably about 10 minutes. Um, so we can help the largest organization and we certainly can help the smaller organizations who don't have a dedicated security operations center, they don't have a dedicated resources, and we can supply all of that very rich intelligence, all that very rich detail back to them in a fully automated package. It's an absolute game changer in the industry. We're compressing an eight hour response time to understand what happened and triage a piece of malware or an attack to 10 minutes. We automate the entire process and we really provide military level intelligence baked into the product. And we're enabling customers who don't have the time, the money, or the resources to be able to be much more predictive in preventing these attacks and ultimately stopping the breach.